Good day mga Kabayan Techers, this is Sir the Kabayan Tech and today we are going to replace an iPhone 13 screen using a JCID diagnosable screen assembly. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and if you like this video or any of my videos, kindly click on the like button. Thank you very much. We've been out of the game for quite some time and this is the first time that I'm going to use a JCID diagnosable screen. And we have here an iPhone 13 with a broken screen. I already removed the screen. I do have videos sh showing how to remove it. I didn't remove the front se sensor yet. I just attached the JCID screen on the phone itself. And I just followed the instructions written on the JCID box. And don't transfer the FPC and you don't need to also transfer the true tone. So once you connect it and you turn on the phone, it says finish the repair by running the diagnostic software. This phone is running iOS 18.6.2, which is the latest one. Make sure that you are connected online and then go to your settings and then click on finish your display repair then on that screen it will show restart and finish the repair when i click on that if it shows you unable to configure make sure that you are connected to a reliable wi-fi by double checking again and going to your settings and connect to your wi-fi and once you're connected go back again to settings general about and then click on the restart and repair if it still shows you unable to configure all you have to do is just turn off the phone again and restart from the start so let's turn off the phone once you turn on the phone and we're going to go on to settings general about and then the part history and then you will see again the restart and configure the display now it's going to do the configuration process where it's going to shut down the phone again and then when it goes back to your apple logo it's going to go straight to the repair assistant all you have to do is click on continue and then it's going to ask you to connect to a wi-fi and then click on continue and repair assistant privacy you just click on accept and then it's going to go onto the configuration screen this will take one to five minutes at the most it's going to also show a finished repair that the display is a genuine part you just click on continue and then the configuration screen will continue then it's going to say that it's done and all you have to do is click on restart and then for us to double check the process if it's successful once the phone turns on and goes to the home screen go to your settings general about and then part history it will show you that the screen has been identified and it will show you as a used part then that's the time that you're going to connect the fpc and the auto brightness and face id will work and that's it mga kabayan techers if you have any questions concerns comments suggestions kindly write them down below and if you're not yet subscribed kindly click on the subscribe button again if you like this video kindly click on the thumbs up thank you very much and have a good day